Hey guys, welcome back to Massive Effect. Uh, I think I know where to go next, by the way. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Even though it doesn't tell me to go here. It's the little embassies. Because we did a bunch of those uh, weird things. I find it kind of odd that it's not like giving me more information on these things, but, you know. Uh, whatever. That's what the internet's for, I guess. Yeah, he's right here. Zamandis? Or should I say, regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair? It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors served the Reapers. Ugh. You have got to be kidding me. Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. You big stupid jellyfish. You know, I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their chosen sapients, the galaxy will bear witness. I don't think the Enkindlers are going to be doing anything today. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. Which I have just uploaded. Damn it. Wait. A virus would be detected unless sent on low priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. You may be delayed. Help him! I'll handle this! Got it. Uploads disabled. Looks like we're in the... Wait. He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down! She was here the entire time. She was an old friend. I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the Collectors. And she just gave her life to save the Hanor homeworld. Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor. With a few friends. You can come out now. How'd you know? Lucky guess. There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No, but you're the best thief in the galaxy, and you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it. All that expensive tech just lying around. It's not like they're gonna check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. All right. I'm in. And Shep. Nice working with you again. That, that has to be the worst Spectre in the universe. He did not even check to see if they, they were actually dead. But now we can go back to the ship. Get me the fuck out of here. Um... Uh, which one should we do? Yeah, now can Normandy, Docking Bay. I don't know about the artifacts or whatever. Now arriving at docking bay, but I, I'm done with the Citadel. We've been here for like fucking two parts, and then when I wanted to leave, it didn't let me leave. There's a keeper. Fucking keepers. Alright, let me out. Yes. Oh, I've got new messages. Omega, it's time. Alright. Well, I don't really have to do that quite yet. So we're not going to. I, I don't think I would want to start that j just yet anyways. It's fine. It's not timed, I think. I think. Commander. 
Of course. The good old commander. Alright, I guess I guess this didn't really count as an actual official mission, so we'll just we'll just we'll just continue. We'll just continue. Particularly with planet scanning. Actually, let's see what's on the map, actually. Uh, the more side mission-y it, it sounds, the better off we are. Alright. Well, that's that's Diplomats. Uh, well, there, there's your artifacts right there. Actually, this is the... Uh, I think this is the system... I had to leave. I don't even think we have, like, anything for this. How much fuel do I have? Oh, uh, all of it. Uh, still, I'm not gonna go there. Fuck it. It's not worth it. Like, I exited the system through one side and came out the other. Oh, we already got all the assets here. Alright. Let's try, uh, finding artifacts. That's what I was supposed to do. I found something. Well, the Reapers do not particularly care for this. Got it. That, uh, this is more artifacts. Well, I mean, the simplest thing to do would be go... It pointed this way. Uh, because it is actually down that way. Signal confirmed. Nice. Why are they fucking constantly around? Why don't these Reapers just leave me alone? What have I ever done? Besides been savior of humanity and so on. Well, uh, luckily I got both of them all in the the same one, so it's all good. A uh, hundred units of fuel, easy fuel. The Reaper alertness. How about the galactic readiness? That's what we need. All right, find artifacts. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna land on the planet. What the fuck? Wait. What? What? Wait, why am I not allowed to land here? Huh? Do I have to scan that? Yeah, dude, if I scan it, they're definitely gonna be looking for me now. It's okay. It's okay. We 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 did this really fast. <laughs> yeah, those, those reaper horns you were hearing—it was just your imagination. All right. Uh, I guess that's it. Okay. Successful. I'm trying to find the fucking other places. Oh, there we go. We can, we can just investigate this real quick. Ah, uh, fuel. Reapers eluded. All right. Which one? This one won't have much, but that's okay. Although the Reapers did chase me all the way over here. Where do, why does it say 33? Oh, there's two of them. Alright. Well, well, let's see if we can... Light jump successful. Let's see if we can Grand Theft Reaper them. Uh, no, one's like right there. Yeah, I don't think we can do that. So how are we supposed to make it to the fucking mass relay then? Evasion successful. Maybe, maybe, maybe if I go over here. No, it still starts from over here. Eluded. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game expects from me. Oh, we're missing two more things over there, but we can do... I don't know. 
Uh, I'm thinking diplomats, but let me see. Alright, well, the smart thing to do would actually be to go to any system that still has planet scattering. Because diplomats is the next thing to do, but... I don't particularly care to go back to the Citadel. Deal with this. Uh, it's Grissom Academy. Uh, so there isn't anything here. I wish this would have like 100% so I'd know never to come back here. But, uh, you know, because now I'm going to go over here and that might actually be the same thing. We might just be starting with that stuff, actually. Because this might be like... Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. The game's not very good about uh, explaining this stuff. I'm surprised the fuel depots still work. I mean, if I was a Reaper, that would be the first thing I'd take out. Alright, let's meet the Diplomats. As I said, we're kind of lacking characters, so... We have a few. So why is there even a fuel depot here? Whatever. Diplomatic ships. Alright. Commander, the Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard ferret you unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Why are you so opposed to the idea, Dalatress? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians, or the Asari, or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. And after that, you ceased to be useful. The genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. That decision saved the galaxy. The Rachni were devouring everything in their path. And what the Rachni started, the Krogan tried to finish. We simply traded one enemy for another. I won't let history repeat. Curing the genophage will doom us all. Whether you like it or not, we need Krogan help to win this war. And what happens when the war is over? We'll find a new way to keep the peace. And they'll break it. Enough! This is all theoretical. It would take years to formulate a cure. There's no time. My information says otherwise. A Solarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? Well, will curing the genophage benefit my people? What does it matter? Palavin is burning right now. Earth is burning right now. If it takes a cure to cement this alliance, then that's what I'm doing. He's right. The hard truth is we don't have a choice. Give Rex what he wants. Or none of us will survive long enough to know who was right or wrong. 
The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkash. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this... ...will be nothing compared to what happens if the Reapers win. Let's get the females. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. Fuck the Slarians. Krogans are my bros. Alright, so we're gonna bring Death and then we're gonna bring Javik. Uh, oh, uh, you can cycle his appearance. Power damage. Power recharge. Power damage. Oh, well, what's his powers? Ah, uh, he's got like. Lots of biotics. I guess we'll do recharge speed. Alright, in time to now equip those fancy ass uh, add ons I got for my guns. So let's see here. Uh, we don't need the spare shot capacity. Uh. Wait, what? What? So apparently, high velocity barrel is incompatible. I'll be honest, I didn't quite think that would be the case. Uh, increases weight by 50. Oh, because it's the barrel part, that's why. Yeah, they basically do the exact same thing. So this one allows me to pierce objects. But that seems still pretty good. Uh, this is this is awful. Actually, the choices I have to make here. Fuck. I I, I didn't. I wasn't aware that I had to pick one or the other. But I guess the weight doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, at this point, it really doesn't. I, I mean, it's either either I take the clips or I take the concentration mod, because that also increases the damage slightly. I'm gonna take, as I said, the barrel because that, that that's better against armor. Um. A hurricane's such a baller, though. Accuracy. Power damage. And that also takes up the same slot once again. Yeah, I didn't take into account that slots would be a huge issue. I won't lie. Rounds per magazine. Uh, which one is this one? Which gun is this? The Executioner one. I think that only has one shot. If I recall. So this is the most useless thing imaginable. But damage would be good. All right, what's the, what's this one? Allows it to pierce thick objects, but at reduced damage, ignores defenses and armored targets. Uh, and I could also have reduced weapon weight, but I mean, weapon weight might actually be the play. Yeah, look at that. It goes to sixty-six percent reduced uh, power charge. So yeah, we're gonna do that. We're just gonna give it damage because I mean, what what else am I really gonna use it for? Damage and uh, just as a sidearm, like the the both of these things should be super weight and uh, super light. I mean, I mean technically a sniper can as well, but eh, whatever. All right, uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, Gar uh, that's Javik has a pistol and a Avenger. The fuck. So give him this. Also, I don't think I did anything with uh. Uh, I don't think I did anything with uh, Garrus' weapons. So what was the gun? Yeah, the Typhoon. That was the one. That was the one I gave before. Increases accuracy. Oh, maybe I should have gotten the damage upgrades for this thing. They're both going to have Typhoons. <laughs> uh could be suppressing fire, guys. Alright. Yeah, whatever, it's all good. Alright, so, uh, for this stuff. Uh, huh. So, what's the deal with cryo ammo? I just reduced their movement speed and stuff, but the disruptor ammo actually does damage. 
That's why it's probably superior. I think I was either going to do Operational Mastery... Yeah, I would say that. Oh yeah, that sounds pretty good. And then the last one would either be Grenades or... Uh, maybe some more Disruptor Ammo actually would be pretty good. So you can gain squad, squad damage, ammo capacity, or we could do headshot damage. Probably gonna do headshot damage. Because they do a lot of headshots. This is actually probably the best one for snipers, is Disruptor Ammo. Uh, Garrus. Garrus can keep being a baller. Now, I'm giving, I, I'm not giving him snipers, but I'll still give him the sniper rifle damage in case we want to let him, you know, just go ham. I, I figure that's the best thing to do. Dark Channel. Plague an opponent with a persistent damaging biotic field. Uh, that one seems in interesting. Vengeful Ancient. Just some random power damage bonuses and stuff like that. Maybe we should let him have that. We can pull enemies, lift grenade. Lob this grenade into a group of enemies to send them flying. Deals high damage. Alright, grenade capacity. Now here's the thing, I don't he's probably not gonna use that unless I tell him to. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and give him like the basics of everything. Uh vengeful ancient. Yeah, we can do we can do we can do three levels. Oh, fuck. Dude, I press back. Why is it like ignore me? I'm so mad. Turn around, Cortez. We need to give more fucking points to people. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. If they start backtracking, the angry Krogan act couldn't hurt. Who said anything about acting? Just try to keep it verbal. These females are the best. And probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them home, Rex. You've waited long enough for this day. A lifetime. I appreciate the assist, Garrus. Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. He wouldn't be king then, would he? Who's that? He's a Prothean. Sometimes I'm not sure if the Normandy's a warship or a traveling freak show. But as long as he can hold a gun... Commander, I have a Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dolatris authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex! No! We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? For a few moments ago. This Solarian hospitality always come with sharpshooters. This is an insult to the Alliance. These understand. No matter what some politician might say, Krogan are still considered a hostile race. I wonder why. However, on behalf of the Solarian Union, I apologize. But we must insist that Krogan remain under guard. <clears throat> and if we insist otherwise? You'll have another war on your hands. Anything goes wrong and all bets are off. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Careful! Watch the containment shield! Brings back memories. They were much smaller in my cycle. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? 
Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Seems like a good place to hide things you don't want the galaxy to know about. Like female Krogan. I'm aware of how this must look, but it was for their own good. They were in poor health when we found them on Tuchanka. We brought them here to stabilize their condition. This old planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Alright, well, now let's finish this thing up. Uh, alright. I'll just do Dark Channel. I think Pole would be the best thing. So maybe we'll do Pole. Impact radius or duration. And we're going to do duration just because it gives us more, uh, uh, increase all damage to lifted targets. Yeah, because I usually snipe them when they're off the ground. Launch two projectiles to seek two targets instead of one. Or recharge speed. I'm going to take the two targets. And I don't think we can do much else now. Yeah, because everything requires four. Alright. This is where all you Solarians come from, huh? No wonder you're so soft. Too busy writing poetry about waterfalls. Shepard. I don't like this. I should be the one going in. I know I said to act the angry Krogan, Rex. That was just good old-fashioned Krogan hot air. If it had been real, they'd be dead. Idle threats are empty threats. <laughs> Maybe when this war is over, you can come live on Tuchunka. You'd fit right in. Who tipped you off about the females here? Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. I prefer my Solarian liver served raw. <laughs> he is correct. It was a delicacy in our cycle. Back on the Normandy, he said Reapers were sighted on Tachanka. Clans Jorgal and Ravenor sighted a few landing parties. The Reapers are up to something. Tuchunka may be a pile of radioactive rubble, but it's our pile, and we'll fight the last Krogan to keep it that way. Radioactive? <laughs> Garrus, I have to make friends with the one Turian in the galaxy who thinks he's funny. Imagine how I feel. I'm supposed to hate Krogan, but you came along and warmed my heart with your winning personality. I could throw a few Solarians off a cliff, if it'll make you feel better. What do you know about these females? They weren't fertile, so we used them as decoys to draw off enemies from the ones who were. But Malin's experiments changed that. These damn piejacks stole them right out from under us. That's a pretty brutal way to treat your women, Rex. The females suggested it. We've had to make a lot of tough choices to ensure we don't all die off. Your females are wise. It's just one more thing that'll get better when the genophage is cured. Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? Ever since Sovereign showed up, I figured this day would come. My people have spent too much time selling ourselves out as mercenaries. Now we can get back to doing what Krogan do best, saving everyone else from giant monsters. Never going to let us forget about the Rachni Wars, are you? The last time I was at the Citadel, I didn't see a Turian statue in your honor. <laughs> Just wait till this war is over. It's been good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Solarians for lunch. <laughs> Alright guys, that's all the time we got for today, guys. Uh, see you next time, bye.